Oh. That was a poorly placed reaction. Hi, I'm Astro Boy, and I'll be doing a tutorial, well, not a tutorial, a um, review of the new cloud system in Cosmos here. So as you see here in our solar system, we have a wide variety of clouds, and these red ones we'll get to later in the video. So to start off with, we are in a gaseous cloud. This limiter sensor range, so basically, it's like being in the fog. So, that's it. Good for stealth. So pretty good for stealth and moving around sneakily. But this also goes two ways. It can conceal your enemies as well. So you want to be careful with that. Now moving on to the next item, we have the electron cloud. Electron cloud, electron cloud, hinder your reactor's ability to react, but they do give you an engine boost, as you can see right now. Hey, let me put the entrance on a little longer. I can see right now the engines have these greenish contrails, and they're going much faster than usual. But you can see the reactor is arcing a little bit because it is struggling. Laser weapons have a boost inside of an electron cloud. Now, this does not have the same stealth capabilities as the gaseous cloud, but still useful if you're trying to escape and you need an extra speed boost. But once again, this goes both ways, and enemies can also have the same boost. Now moving on to the final cloud, an ion storm. I personally think this is the coolest one, and we're going to fly over there right now. Yeah, look, look at how fast I'm flying, like, whoa, look how fast this is. Now I don't want to go right in there right off the bat. Now, ion clouds are only around stars. As you can see, I'm flying towards the cloud at a high rate. Now, I see the first bits of the cloud, and we're going to make contact in three, two, one. We are now inside of an ion cloud. I think there is a music change whenever you enter ion class by them. And you can see the percentage raises as the farther we go inside of the cloud. And that's the first ion belt. Now going into ion swarms is really difficult. I would not recommend it. But I think I can find a ship here that can withstand it probably. So we're gonna try that out just now. I only recently upgraded from the demo, so I don't have that many powerful ships. So I'm going to go to built in ships. Just a small little ship right here. I don't want to burn my PC. And right off the bat, already getting struck. This shoes should have a much better chance, much more armored up. And this is kind of what you want to go into when you go into the island side. You want to have nice thick armor, and you want to spend as least time possible in the cloud. So, when you're picking a reach, just like, 
be aware of gaps so that you can get through without taking too much damage. And also be aware of the red zone. This isn't new, this has always been here. And the clouds can really level up the um, gameplay experience. I'm very grateful for the developers and I wish them well on their path of upgrading the game. So that's it for today's game review. Um, please consider subscribing and that's it for this video.